Squadron 42 animations. Do you remember recently we talked about metrics a lot? Well, recently at IMS, we captured a whole bunch of universal transitions. These are transitions that get us into and out of usable objects. Some of the stuff that we have been working on are Lego pieces. Do you remember the metrics that we had talked about before in previous episodes? Well, here's one of the examples of what I'm talking about. Uh, these are some of our universal transitions. We went to the stage and actually shot a bunch of animations uh, that fit our template for metrics. So as you can see, we have all these arrows here showing the metrics of how to get into a, an object. And we went to the sound stage uh, over at Imaginarium Studios and we shot a bunch of universal transitions. Uh, you can see all the different uh, ways a character can actually enter this in particular usable. This can be used across the board. It could be used for, in this case, we kind of have it set up for a mess hall table that you'd see in a cafeteria, uh, but it could be used for anything. It could be like cockpits in certain ships. It could be uh, anywhere that a character can actually sit down. And you can see that we have a bunch of different ways that a, an AI can actually approach an object and enter it and then exit. And the reason why all these are important and the reason why that we shot these universal transitions is so that we have one piece of animation that we can go to for everything. And what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll motion edit this to work with the mess hall table. We'll do another motion edit and we'll edit it to work with booths inside of, uh, you know, bars and restaurants and other various venues that you can go and sit down in. This allows AI uh, and, you know, in some cases characters to, act, you know, players to actually approach a, a usable and when they hit the use button, they'll play a much smoother, much nicer animation to be able to sit down. These are all in the works and we should be able to see all these at some point in uh, Squadron 42 and in Persistent Universe. Along with some of the other things that we've been doing, which are setting up metrics for usable objects, so grabbing something, in this case a data pad, and being able to actually use it. Uh, this happens to be a transfer of data animation that you'll see inside Squadron 42 at some point where you go aboard this derelict spaceship and you see this data pad floating, you got to grab it, you got to interact with it uh, to achieve the mission. Uh, so we're doing a lot of these, in particular, interactive uh, animations as well. Here's an example of when you first interact with a, an object, in this case a data pad, you need a boot up sequence. sequence so. Uh, I'm going to just boot this thing up here and get ready to transfer some data. Uh, and we're going through and we're fine tuning these animations of grabbing things, holstering these things if it's an NPC walking around. Uh, we're doing lots of finger articulation. Uh, all the animators here are, are hard at work polishing a lot of these animations that we have been working on for so long. Uh, this also includes something that is kind of the pet project for our animation director here, and that's the deck crew sequence, where you get to experience this uh, as close to uh, this amazing jet pilot military takeoff as you possibly can from the uh, deck of an aircraft carrier. Hey guys, so I'm working on the deck crew animation, so uh, let's take a look. So what you're going to see here is uh, I'm going to play two different camera angles. The first camera angle that you're seeing right now is the what the player will see. It's a rough representation, so you know, it's still a work in progress. The next will be um, a camera switcher, so you can see all the different positions. These animations are fully interactive. They are not canned. Um, that is, if you know, if there's an explosion, if they get shot, if the ship lists or something like that, you'll see them, you know, fall over and you know get sucked out in the space and you know uh, react to whatever's happening around them. So the other thing too is that these are uh, completely scalable, also. So on a bigger ship like, let's say, like the Bengal, for launching bigger ships, we can go through and we can uh, adjust for that. All right, so I'm going to play the second camera angle here, okay, and I'm going to talk about the different crew positions. So this is the, uh, the yellow plane director. I'm just going to step out, let everybody know that things are, uh, that everything's safe. Everybody comes in from the orange safe zone and starts checking uh, to make sure the craft is ready for, for launch. These are the green shirts that are doing all the all the checking here. The yellow plane director says, "Hold." Is everybody safe? Okay, now I'm getting ready to pass this off to the shooter. Pass the ball off. Ball goes to him. Jet blast flight goes up. They give the thumbs up. 
shooter finishes the, the hover hand signal and signals the pilot to throttle up. And the shooter, once everything's safe, launches the craft. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it.